Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming in. This is KBM, your host of This is Africa. And today we have a very special guest all the way from Nigeria with a YouTube channel called Oranga TV, a gentleman that has a lot of content on his channel, a gentleman that has a lot of unique content, in my opinion, shows the positive sides of Africa. And without further ado, go ahead and introduce yourself. And this is Oranga TV. How you doing? doing very well and you I'm doing very good I can't complain <laughs> <laughs> okay or should I even start by saying um, good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are in the world this is Arenga live and direct okay so so everybody like I was saying this gentleman has very unique content in my opinion um, definitely needs more people to watch his content to discover this man because he's doing a lot out there. I'm going to be asking him some questions that uh, I usually, as you know, I ask questions that other people don't ask. So that's one of my uh, niches. So first question, which is a general question, uh, where in Nigeria did you grow up? Yes, I grew up in uh, Shomolu, Lagos. Okay. And are you still in Lagos now? Yes, I'm still very much in Lagos. That's my base, Lagos City, Lagos oh. State. Okay, okay. So professionally speaking, what do you do? Yeah, I'm a teacher by profession. I'm a filmmaker, an actor, and a movie producer. I'm also a traveled vlogger and a YouTuber. I started you know, uh, being a travel vlogger while, you know, uh, taking children on excursion from the school where I teach to different parts of the world. Okay, okay. So your video productions are very well done, funny, and overall entertaining. What I like best about your videos are the areas in which you promote Africa in the positive light. What motivates you to do this when so many on YouTube find it difficult to promote Africa in a positive way? Well, uh, that's a good question. Um, let me start by saying that, you know, um, this is Africa, just like uh, the title of uh, your channel is. And um, Africa is a continent that is well you know, enriched and endowed with a lot of things that are yet to be tapped. And um, I have noticed that, you know, in most cases, people talk about the negative side of Africa. But to me, I felt, no, there are two sides to a coin. So why don't I just go through, you know, the positive side and even there's no way you will not find the bad side as well, but I took it up as a responsibility to address some of these issues that we are facing in Africa. Okay, very, very well uh, said. I do appreciate your hard work at that. My mission is to project the positive side of the great continent and also address some of the issues facing African nations. Thank you. So my next question, you know, let me start off at, you know, at the end of some of your videos, you leave off with the message and I quote, my message is to protect the positive side of the great continent. And I also address some of the issues facing African nations. How did you decide what type of content you're going to showcase on YouTube and why? 
Oh, well, um, like I said to you that uh, there are a lot of untapped uh, things that need, you know, to be projected to, to the world. And uh, there are many things that some people, you know, so many people do not even know about Africa. So these are things that I do research on. And that is why if you watch my videos, I try as much as I can to, you know, meet the locals, stay with them. I don't, I don't really stay in um, uh, luxury hotels. It's, I try as much as I can to stay with, you know, the locals so that I can get the facts and the real things that I need to get from them to showcase to the world. So I just felt, okay, well, it is better for me to go. If you see some of the videos that I've done, maybe outside the, the country as well in West Africa, I go to the locals. Right. So that's just it. Okay, so in your videos you say, I remain your G, Aranga. What does the G stand for? <laughs> yeah, the G stands for, you know, when I say, I remain your G, Aranga. The G stands for being a guy. I remain your guy. I remain your your body and so on and so forth. So it depends. So it's just, I remain your G. That's in G-E-E. -E. I remain your guy, Aranga. Okay. Okay. So at least that right there is, is, is no longer a mystery. So thank you for addressing that. And, um, <laughs> okay. So I wondered that myself quite a, quite a few times. So, all right. Uh, tell us about your travel vlogging into some of the West African countries. I see you have been to Togo, Benin, and Ghana. Where else have you been? Cause you said you've been to a lot of countries. Where else have you been? Yes. Um, in Africa, um, um, yeah, let me just say, okay, in West Africa, I've been to the ones that you just mentioned, Togo, Benin, and uh, uh, Ghana. But aside from that, you know, uh, Excursion has taken me to many countries, and uh, one of the countries, you know, is uh, Kenya. I've been to Kenya. Oh, really? More than yeah, I've been to Kenya more than five times. Let me say, yeah, is, that, times. is that on your channel? No, 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 no. It's not on my. Even before I started, uh, you know, creating a uh, YouTube uh, content. So I've been to many. I've been to Dubai. I've been to Mexico. I've been to the UK. I've been to, uh, uh, you know, many European countries like that. So, but so, then I was not documenting it as I was not going as a YouTuber. I was going as a, a, as an excursion coordinator from the school where I teach. Okay, so you got some world traveling under your belt. Uh, Me Mexico is is one of the countries you don't hear a lot of people bring up unless you're in America going to Mexico. So, okay. real real quick, how did you find Mexico? How did you like that? Well, I went there on. Uh, um on an invitation which has to do with uh, the cultural festival that they usually organize in the zacatecas mm, so okay very nice and they're welcoming people yeah, yeah. kenya in some ways reminded me of mexico um i haven't been to mexico in many years but when i first went to kenya that kind of reminded me of mexico <laughs> yeah, so very, very warm people, very inviting. Um, exactly. The, the culture, the family unit, everything is very important in Mexico, exactly. just like it is in Kenya. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so in Ghana, I've also seen you meet up with Nappy Briggs and Niai. How did you three meet up? Yeah, um, initially, it's like uh, when I, whenever I want to travel to any place or any country, I usually try to search for the YouTubers, you know, in the country. So I contacted, um, I contacted uh, Nappy Briggs and uh, some other YouTubers there. And, um, you know, they gave me a very uh, nice and good uh, reception. And I said, okay, whenever I get to Ghana, we guys, we have to do something together. So it was not only Niai and uh, Nappy Briggs. I also worked with uh, Keso and uh, Prank Africa. Oh, okay. So 
Okay. I work with Frank Africa. I did some videos with Frank Africa, Keso, uh, Nappy Briggs, and uh, Nia Yi. They are all wonderful people. Yes, yes, they are. I've actually done one interview with Nia Yi quite a few months ago. Um, oh, okay, so what do you ultimately hope to achieve with your content? <sighs> like I usually say, at the end of my videos during the tour to West African countries, I said my mission is to project the good image, the positive side of African countries and address the issues that African countries are facing. So, and I'm sure I'm achieving that now. For you to have been able to, you know, notice what I'm doing, it shows that gradually I'm achieving it and people are, you know, getting to know the reason why they need to visit Africa. Right. And, and you, you bring up a very good point there at, at the end, um, why they need to visit Africa. I mean, when I first came to Africa, I realized that um, people in Africa were like me. So growing up in the United States, I carried some certain types of values and I felt like I was by myself. Little did I know I carried the same values as most Africans. And when I went there, I just I was shocked. You know what I mean? I was absolutely shocked. So... But yeah, Africa is definitely not for everybody, um, but yeah. everybody definitely could visit Africa and definitely check it out, uh, get your own opinion. I, I do know, and I'm sure you know as well, that a lot of people come to Africa on a vacation to get whatever experience they want to get, and they still leave with a negative mindset. But the fact mm -hmm. is, they cannot deny that they had some experience that made them feel good about themselves, made them feel good about the place. That's undeniable because Africa will do that to you. Even if you're an absolutely negative person, it'll still do that to you to some degree. But can I ship in something, please? Sure, go ahead. Uh, um, there's this thing that I uh, used to tell people. I used to say that in every country you visit, you have good people and you have bad people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we might have uh, bad leaders and uh, whatever, some bad people, but that doesn't mean that we need to, we have to generalize it that, oh, Africa is bad and we keep saying negative things about Africa. Do you understand? So everywhere you go, to, if you are a good traveler and you've been to many places, you know what I'm talking about. As we speak that uh, there are some uh, Western uh, countries where you have good people oh they are good they are that yet some of uh, some of us that are real travelers we still uh, you know face some challenges which you know though it's minimal over there you understand what i'm saying it's minimal over there but uh anyway we just need to know that uh it is not that africa is that bad completely so and that's the reason why i'm trying my best to make sure that I project the positive side of Africa country to the world. Well, you're definitely, uh, like I said, you're definitely doing a good job. And I know the work is can be hard at times, but I also know it can be very sure. awarding. So my next question for you is, it appears that you have a working camera crew. Is that all the time or just certain projects? Well, let me say, well, I say, yeah, it's all the time because um, I have a production house. Okay. And it's not something that I can do alone. And like I said to you that I'm a filmmaker as well. So I have a production house. So um, the production house have always been there, you know, with me all the time. And if you watch most of my videos, you see us going, you know, like in two, three, and so on and so forth. So I have that all the time. Okay. And some of your Nigeria videos you're filming in the countryside. How do you decide what to film and what are some of the challenges? <sighs> I, I do get these questions most of the time and even some, some of my colleagues that see, you know, some of my videos, you know, they do ask me, how do I go about it? 
I know it's not easy, feminine in Africa. And uh, the, the main issue is simply because most of our people do not really understand what YouTube is and what we do on YouTube. So it is now that we are trying to enlighten them to let them know that all these things we are doing is to promote you know uh the the country and the continents at large so there are some places you go to you'll be told oh don't the place don't bring i don't want to, to i don't want you to cover me i don't want to uh, appear in any of your videos blah 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 but later on when you talk to them you make them see reason why you are doing this oh some of them will you know you will not you know they will give in everything that they have to be part of your production and where some are adamant, they are so bent on changing, you know, from their decision that they don't want to be part of it. So it's vice versa. But at the end, you just have to be friendly. You have to come down to their level for them to understand the reason why you are doing what you are doing. Okay. So are you planning to expand on your vlogging to other African countries, which it's kind of obvious, but... If so, which ones? Well, um, you know, it, it, it's not that easy. And all these things cost fortune. So uh, I have a mind this year, 2021, to continue with uh, uh, the African tour. Uh, but I really don't know because I didn't finish Ghana. I didn't finish Ghana tour. I still have some places to visit there, uh, and um, perhaps from Ghana, I wish to, you know, uh, move on to Burkina Faso and so on and so forth. So it depends. But before the end of this year, I will definitely, I will, I will go to about let me say three or four more African countries. But right now, I'm still doing some projects within my country because I need to, you know, go around my country. If I want to do that. I want to go around the country, all the states and, uh, you know, uh, tourist sites that people can come over to visit whenever they, uh, they come to Nigeria. So that's the uh, main thing now that I'm doing. But I'm, I hope I, I, I might not be able to finish all the 36 states. I've been to like seven now. But I hope by the end of the year, I will have been able to cover, you know, uh, many states. Likewise, going to some few African countries. Okay, okay. So I'm definitely looking forward to, to those. I, I think there's not really been too much of filming within the country of Nigeria, especially. So um, congratulations to you and the other Nigerian vloggers out there doing what they're doing. Um, I've, I've been told that it's it can be extremely hard to pull out a yeah. camera phone in Nigeria without getting some resistance, you know, especially yeah. in crowded areas. So, uh, again, I appreciate everything that you're doing and what they're doing. Thank so you. next, you're welcome. Next question for you is: Have you ever been asked to film events for government or private agencies? Mm, for government, mm, would I say yes? Let me say, okay, just once, and that will be December as a Kitty State government, but not that official, not that official per se, not that official per se, but uh, I would just say that uh, the involvement of the senior uh, special assistant to the governor of a Kitty State in Nigeria on uh, tourism development was a little bit involved, but it's not formal. So, okay. but uh, other, you know, personal agencies, yes, I've done one or two like that. Okay. Um, I guess without saying the, the agency's names, like what, what type of event were you filming for them? And, you know, sometimes um, because I'm into uh, film production and uh, event coverage, so some do come, you know, invite me to cover maybe events like um, you know, wedding, um, documentary, or maybe all these NGO, um, mm -hmm. burial ceremony, and so on and so forth. 
Okay. Okay. So for everybody that's watching, I'm going to put all his contact information for all his social media down in the description box. So everybody make sure that if you're going to Nigeria and you'd like to hire his crew for a film shoot, go ahead and get in contact with him. So he, he definitely has a crew, definitely has a production house. So, and I've seen a lot of his content, so it's very high quality. Um, you. So you're welcome. To get off into the next question, like you're starting to do a lot of drone flying. So when did you start flying drones? Well, um, actually, I'm not that uh, expert on flying drones. I, I, I just uh, believe, I believe in division of labor. But it's not that I can't fly drone. I flew drone once or twice, even more than that. But uh, I have a crew and I have people that do that for me. Okay. So, but just once in a while, and I feel like when I feel like okay, I need to do something. Let me let me just you know change my style. So I do fly the drone. So it started um, when we we're about to embark on the first uh, leg of the West African tour. That's 2019 June. I even I have the video on the this thing when I, my first time of flying drone is on my YouTube channel. You can search for it. You see that. And uh, that was when I even did the unboxing of my drone and the camera that the GoPro uh, 7 then. Okay, okay. So now that we're talking about gear, for all your camera gear, do you buy in Nigeria or do you have it shipped into the country? Yes, I have uh, most of the, let me say all, not even most, all my gear is shipped in from the USA. So... Now, when it comes to, like, this wasn't part of the questions, but this is just a segue from that. Okay. So when, when, when you're bringing in products into Nigeria, so are, are, you, are you ordering from, like, B&H Photo or Amazon and then having it shipped to Nigeria? No, actually, I have um, uh, some family members in the U.S. that do usually go to the store or order from either uh, yes amazon and so on and so forth and they send it through uh, a special courier service like dhl and so on and so forth so that's how i get my uh, uh gears okay and is the shipping quite expensive very expensive very, very expensive. expensive okay okay yes. all right so my next question for you um who are some of the content creators you're planning to work with for the year of 2021 well, um, many content, uh, some, let me say, a few content creators have contacted me um, through, you know, watching some of my videos and um, they are, uh, they are planning of coming to Nigeria to do one or two uh, collaborations with me. And, uh, to me, I am ready to work with anybody. Okay. Don't care what you have either zero subscriber or whatever but if you share the same passion with me i'm ready to work with you okay so you definitely pointed that that out you clarified that so we do have a lot of people that um are coming into africa with a, a negative mindset or a hit, hidden agenda and they first come off as being somebody that that's wants to do the same thing you're doing and then you find out later that's not what they're about um uh, it's unfortunate we do have a lot of those those people out there that are doing that, and I'm not going to name any names, but um, everybody that's that's collabing with people try to just check out their channel, make sure they're on the up and up. Watch more than one video, because a lot of times you'll you'll watch a couple of videos and think this person is good, and then you collab with them and you find out later uh, you wish you never collabed with them at all. So um, I'm glad you clarified that because that's to me personally. And professionally, that's very important. Thank you. You're welcome. So, what do you like most about what you do? <sighs> um, like I said, what I do has become part of uh, my hobby. And uh, that satisfaction is there because it's something that I love doing. So, I'm fulfilled. To be a travel vlogger and a YouTuber. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what do you like least about what you do? 
What do I like least? If if there's anything. <laughs> um, you know, just challenges of uh, shooting in Africa. Let me put it that way. Yeah. Can you give us one example? Um, you know, um, because of uh, what you said earlier, that some people they do come to Africa to uh, they pretend as if they are here, they are in Africa to do the right thing, and uh, thereafter, when it goes, when they leave, they you know turn it to be negative uh, 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 projects. So, and I guess that's the reason why some Africans they do they, they are, they're a little bit skeptical, you know, responding to anybody that is holding a camera because they they they, they feel like oh you might turn into something else and uh, change the whole story so that is really affecting someone like us as well like me i always find it difficult i have to sit them down and talk to them you know try to you know change their orientation concerning it it's by and by i think we get there and i okay. want to i can see we are getting there gradually okay okay so a lot of, that's a lot of good information. Um, I do thank you for all the questions. We're about to wrap this up, but do you have any last words for the audience that you'd like to say that we did not already cover? Uh, well, um, there's nothing much to say rather than for everyone to know that Africa is a place for you to be. Wherever you are, if you have not been to Africa, but you've not been to anywhere, honestly, your experience as a human is not complete without visiting Africa. That's all I have to say. That's very beautiful. Very beautiful. Again, I appreciate that. And um, you're, you're one of many that I admire on the YouTube space as well as uh, other platforms where people are not even using YouTube. So um, thank you very much for coming to the interview. Again, everybody, if well, you're if you're looking to check out his videos, please do subscribe to him, like, share, comment at his YouTube channel. And you have uh, IG, don't you? Yes, I do have IG, Arenda TV. Okay, okay. So I'll, I'll gather all that up and I'll put it in the description box. Again, thank you everybody for coming in. This is KBM, Kenyan by Marriage. You're a host of This Is Africa. And on that note, we're out. Thank you. Redeeming the image of Africa all over the world.